think about Eid, I think about food that's fit for a feast and very, very special decadent food. Today I'm going to be making peppered crayfish tails. So, first into the pan goes some oil. And the first spice going in, mustard seeds. So the pan's quite smoky hot. Pop those in. And they're going to splatter and cough a bit. It's not quite a South Indian recipe, but it's really good for a feast. Also quick and easy. Cumin seeds going in now. My favorite paddle spoon. Next, onions. Salt. About a teaspoon and a half. Always pour salt going into onions. Helps speed up the browning, breaks down the onion quite quickly. Curry leaves. I'm gonna add some at the beginning and also some at the end. Saute the onions until they're light golden brown. Keep moving them around so that they brown quite evenly. Now garlic going in, about two teaspoons. I'm always quite generous with garlic. Stir this around for three to five seconds, taking care not to burn that garlic. It does give up quite a bit of flavor once it's burnt. chili powder going in. I'd say for a crayfish curry, quite hot. I'd say about three teaspoons. Stir the chili through. And next in goes tin tomatoes. Now tin tomatoes work really well with a sauce like this. They're consistent, they're always ripe, and they give you a sauce that looks the same every time. Cumin, coriander and garam masala going in. Two teaspoons of roasted coriander. One teaspoon of cumin. Turmeric also going in. Now turmeric is not for colour, but it actually is an antiseptic antibacterial, especially with seafood. So if you're cleaning some crayfish tails, you get a nasty nick, put some turmeric on to disinfect your little wound. this and let it simmer until the tomatoes soften. Gonna have a quick look. Wow, the sauce has thickened up beautifully. Tomatoes are softening. I'm gonna help it along with the back of the spoon. Just mash up the tomatoes if there are any lumps in there. Next crayfish tails into the sauce. I've left them whole. They feel like such a treat. A bit like winning the lottery. You can also do this recipe with prawns if you like, or fish. Now, a little water going in. tender and they start to curl up. Let's take a quick look. Mm, lovely plump crayfish tails. They're already halfway done. Pour in some cream. A touch of sugar to balance the sourness of the tomatoes. This is just an optional extra. And then kasuri methi. This is dried fenugreek leaves. You can pick it up at any Indian supermarket. Crumple them into this curry. Generous sprinkling of black pepper, grinding it into the lid. 
I'd say about a tablespoon would work nicely. More curry leaves. And while that's simmering, let's chop up some coriander. Lots of it. Just roughly chop that so it doesn't disappear into the sauce. Move the tails around. Oh, that looks creamy and decadent. Turn down the heat. Lastly, lots of fresh coriander going in. Don't worry about those crunchy stalks of coriander. They add a lovely texture to the sauce. Now let's plate this up. Try not to overcook these. As soon as they start to curl up and the color changes, switch off the heat. There's enough heat in these AMC pans to continue cooking these crayfish tails. There we have it, the crayfish tails all done in a lovely tomato peppery sauce. Brinjal works so well with so many dishes, lamb, chicken, and today I'm going to serve it with the peppered crayfish. So this dish is called Baba Ganesh. And I'm going to get the brinjals out of the oven. These brinjals have been grilled in the oven. Slow cook them and let the skins char. Let them cool down slightly before we work with them. Let's get going on the paste. Some garlic and green chilli. Just chop up these green chilies quite finely. Or roughly if you prefer. Pop them into the mortar. Garlic also going in. Garlic and green chilli work really well in this dish. I'm going to give them a light pounding just to get some of the heat out of those chilli seeds. Let's work on the brinjal. These have cooled down. Just slice through and peel away those skins. These also have a lovely flavour if you char grill them over a braai. Pop them into a plastic bag, let them sweat for a bit, and then the skins come off really quite easily. When you're choosing eggplants, they should be quite light. So they should be large and light, which is quite difficult to understand sometimes. But the heavier they are, the older they are, and the heavier the seeds are as well. Last one. Just pulling the flesh away from the skin, and eggplants are amazing. Some people call them aubergines, some people call them eggplants, I just call them brinjals. Let's start out with preparing the brinjal. I'm gonna get the onions going first. Olive oil going into a pan. This is the cooking olive oil, hey? Some cumin seeds, fry them a bit. Then in goes onions. These should be just about translucent. Saute the onions with a sprinkling of fine salt this time. I normally use coarse. And while that's being fried, let's chop up the flesh from these brinjals. garlic and crushed green chilli. Try not to burn the chilli, it will make you choke. Stir this through until it's fragrant. And next, the 
eggplant. Use the spoon and mash this up. This is like almost a smoky eggplant dip or a paste that you can serve on top of kebabs or even on a sandwich. I like it with a bit of curry and, and rotis as well. It's coming along nicely. Now, lemon, just rub a ripe lemon on a chopping board and this is so you get lots of juice out. Slice it through, just so you don't get the seeds in. Lemon juice going in. Fresh lemon always works nicely. Now, chopped coriander. You can also use parsley for this. Roughly chopped. That goes on top. A sprinkling of magic masala to give it a bit of colour and flavour. Scrape the paste off the bottom of the pan and that's the baba ganoush done. Scoop it out into a bowl and serve hot. A light sprinkling of magic masala just to finish up this dish. ready to be served. AMC Cookware is giving away this set of pots valued at 4,750 Rand. Entry details on screen. Kenwood is giving away this fabulous K-Mix kitchen machine. Entry details on screen. Coca-Cola is giving away a fantastic hamper, which includes a collection of beautiful Coke-branded items for your kitchen. Entry details on screen.